these are your electrical panels um, or heater, hot water heater, um, fridge. You have to bring a screwdriver. They're mostly screwed in. And this is the turn hatch and the sewage um, release pump. Your gas tank. Your battery and the plug for recharging. That's the backside access to the battery. Tow hitch and electrical hookup. Two spare tires, one for each rim size. Storage. Uh, that's the missing piece of metal that I mentioned in the ad on the back. Um, some more storage. The water uh, tank. Um, right next to the dining room area is the kitchen. So you have some overhead storage. And Um, sink, which has some drawers and um, all the plumbing works. The drawers are a little small, but that's RV living, right? <laughs> Napkins, utensils. The water tank is also sort of in this compartment right here, so if you need to know that. The stove works on propane. This is the oven. And the oven lights in here. This is the overhead vent. Lift it a little and it starts automatically. You want to lock that so it doesn't rattle while you're driving. I just have things sort of magnetized and hanging around. The oven knob is to the far left. Inside of the oven, the pilot light. Once it warms up the coil, it, it takes forever to do it though, like 45 minutes. Um, then this other light will come on because it's getting warmer and then the entire thing will light up. These curtains are pretty thick. They keep a lot of light out in the day if you need. Or if you like the light, you can open them and it gets pretty bright. This is the little living room area. That's the dining room, sort of game room area. Underneath here is storage under all of these benches. Some tchotchkes, a light for at night. And this pulls down on some hinges and could be like a, a bed for a pet or a small child. If you remove the cushions, um, the benches provide lots of storage um, in each one of these sort of compartments. The battery is located under that way. The bathroom is straight ahead when you walk in. I have a little shower curtain on one wall. The light works, the one it came with. Mirror. The shower head is also sort of the faucet for the sink water and I'm having a little trouble getting it out. Um, you can control the flow of your water. This is a good shower head. I was trying to fix a hole with some acrylic that was too pink. <laughs> 
this is the toilet pulls down and the pedal here is for flushing a little garbage a little bath mat This is the RV lit up at night with the various lights that I have. Kitchen. Living room. Dining room. Propane tank and propane gauge. Screen door. Some storage above the door. Uh, your battery gauge. Your water tank pump. If you turn that on, you've got to turn it off when you're done or it'll drain your battery. And next to the bathroom is a closet little closet, broom, fire extinguisher, etc. And you have your refrigerator with the freezer on top. And an ample amount of fridge space on the bottom. I used this fridge as recently as two months ago. A heater on the bottom, a thermostat above it your clothes closet to the right is for your long hanging clothes and to the left is some shelving on the bottom are two fairly decent sized drawers and above that is the fan it blows in and out depending on what you pick it has three speeds uh, so you open the little shell but remember to close that before you start driving or it'll blow right off and fan works For the refrigerator, it comes with your instructions. You want to run it on gas, even though it gives you an electrical option, um, because that'll run on your propane tank. And push the button, wait for the light, hear the pilot, yada, yada, yada. Downstairs bed um, and tabletop actually fits in this middle spot here on this edge and is very spacious. The upstairs loft at night has a little bit of lighting if you need it. The loft area on top I never really used as a bed, but there is a ladder. And under the loft bed is the car cab area. Seats two, half the engines under that shell, and Pretty cozy. Put the water in, right? There's a key. This is the dream catcher. I would, I would this is the this key right here is the water key. It's a little short key. Okay, and you stick it in and you open it up and take this off and you put the hose in there. Okay. Remember what Bob said about it gurgling? Yes. <laughs> okay, so when it starts gurgling, you can hear it coming up, then you then you uh then you know you're full. 
or you can just overrun it and get all wet. <laughs> pretty much what I do. Okay, and here's where you drain it. This little thing here. It's got a little lever on the bottom, so you drain it. Just flip this little switch, and it lets the water out. And that's how you drain it. And you make sure it's closed all the way so that the water doesn't leak out. And okay. the propane tank propane is also tank is under here. here. Now, they'll know how to fill it and everything. This is how you open it, okay, with this lever. You just twist it until it's all the way open, and then you twist it the other way to close it. So one way is open, one way is closed, and you'll know because nothing will light in there if it's closed. <laughs> okay, and this light switch does this and also on the side. We don't use this too much because it runs the battery down quicker than the fluorescent in the back. Okay, this is the water pump. Oh, wait a minute. No, this is the level, and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. This is the pump. So when you turn it on, see how it Here's stops? That. Now see, it'll stop. Okay, now that means you can use this. Okay, and then it'll prime back up. That's what it's doing, is it's priming. Um. But you need to make sure you turn this off because it'll run your battery down if it's not off when you're not using it. Okay. okay. And the refrigerator is also oh, explanatory. Self -explanatory. So, and uh, let's see, here's this light here. I don't know thing. if you're going to use these, but if you use this, let me remind you, make sure that you close this before you go down the ro road because you will yank this thing off. That's what your daughter <laughs> told me too yesterday. So, that was hilarious. And it opens up. Now, one air, one way it sucks the air out, and the other way it blows, and I don't know which way that obviously is blowing. Here's your speed control on this side. Okay, so, and then this is, okay, that's blowing down in on us. And if it gets real hot in here, what I tend to do is, like, suck the hot air out. So I'll turn it the other way, and it'll pull all the hot air out. Oh, and blow like down a ventilation yeah. system. Okay. How does so, the stove? Oh. So the stove works like this. Okay, so you push it in. Just like at home. Thank you. Oh. Brought this up. So you push it in, turn it this way, and just put your to it and turn it loose. And then you just turn it up, and then you turn it down. It doesn't have its pilot light that stays on. Okay, and it's kind of the same same thing. Oh, he didn't lock that. I showed him. Okay, so this locks it. It should be in this position going down the road so it doesn't vibrate open. So you flip it open. Okay, you do this, and there it is. I'm just so see this, uh, it says pilot here, mm -hmm. so that, you're going to want that pilot on, and I turn the gas on. Do you have to hold like a button down? Um, it, this, this pushes in. Oh, oh, so that's Okay, so that. you'll have to do that. Come on. Okay, see? Yeah. It's lit. Okay. And so, and then it takes, a, once once it's lit and you turn up this, it takes a few minutes for it to, for the pi, for the fire to go all the way across. So don't get worried that it's not going to light, because it will. When you shut the door and everything, and this coil gets hot enough, then it'll light up the whole burner all the way across. But it takes a couple minutes. Okay. Okay. So that's all the way off. Um... You're going to turn, make sure the pilot light is off if you're not going to use it all the time because it uses propane with just the pilot light. So this is just off and you have to push it in and turn it to pilot off. Okay. So it turns off everything. Okay. Um, I remember the hot water heater is in the back and I oh, showed you. I don't know fridge. how, I don't ever like that. <laughs> You're going to have to learn from yeah, yeah, yeah. that. He so. showed me, yeah. Exactly. So, um, that's, that's pretty good. So, yeah, and then this has an outside light one. And then this has a porch light one. So just make sure that it's right here. 
it's the it's the switch. Oh my gosh, says, how cute! So it's the switch on top, and okay. that's the switch. Make sure you don't go to bed and leave that on, because it will drain your bed. Uh. <laughs>